Glaucoma is, uh, it's an eye disorder that I, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, about a year and a half ago um, where I started the pressures in my eyes were built up so much that I lost uh, the, the optic nerve in my left eye. They said once the nerve's gone, then the nerve's gone, you can't bring it back. I got the news and I walked to my car and I grabbed my passport and I drove to the airport. I sat in front of the airport for an hour with my passport contemplating just leaving and not dealing with it. And it would have just deteriorated and kept on going. Um, so I made the conscious decision to stay and uh, there wasn't really any options that the doctors had given me in Canada besides use this medication to keep everything at bay. Other than that, there was that was it. There wasn't anything further. The option with stem cells and options to come to Thailand came uh, from a phone call from my dad. When I saw Kevin's sight deteriorating, uh, we were left with no option and I started to research it. I was looking for something that was going to get Kevin's eyesight better. And there was only one option for me, which was stem cell. And looking at Baiki, obviously, uh, confirmed in my mind the professionalism right from the outset. My first reaction was I was a bit wary because it was unknown to me, like everything. And, uh, and as he gave me more knowledge, I became a bit more confident in it. And I, I just made the decision that this is what I need to do because this is, it, it's an option. And before there was no option. Before I came for this treatment, my left eye had no vision. I was pretty black in that left eye. I couldn't see. The right eye was doing all the work and it was very restricted, especially on depth perception. Depth perception is a really hard one for me. Um, my peripherals were gone. They kind of went first on my right and left. Um, and since I started treatment here, um, I started to notice probably after the second stem cell treatment, I started to notice in, in occupational therapy, there was some light that started to come in. And then over the last few weeks, I started to notice the big one was the peripheral started to come. And now like that peripheral is so clear, when, I, when they patch off my right eye and I'm doing occupational therapy, I can, I can, I can distinguish between color and shadow and, and shapes. And, and, and puzzles and things like that. If I'm looking from that peripheral, the front is still blurry, but the peripheral is, is come back almost, is come back really clear. I see it clearly, I just, have to, I just have to concentrate and tilt my head and find that right angle, which wasn't there before. This was black before. And now I can see, like I can see the squares, I can see this animal and stuff, and I can see where to place the square. Yeah. It's kind of blew my mind that first day that I noticed that, because it surprised me. I was like, oh, okay, I've never, yeah, it just came out of left field for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dad? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh-huh, very good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm in Bangkok, Thailand with my wife Janice, who is here for a stem cell treatment because of her glaucoma for her eyes. Janice had eye problems right from basically when she was a young child. Um, as she grew up, the eyes were progressively got worse and worse and worse. And five years ago, actually, she was diagnosed with glaucoma. And uh, I for sure did not know much about the disease at all. And I always thought that it was either tr treatable by drugs or, 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 or something. And then uh, uh, about three months ago, going to her specialist, the specialist basically informed her that her left eye is down to 10%. And it dropped very quickly from what it was, say, six months prior. And her right eye is still reasonably well, but there's no guarantee how long it's going to last. And Basically, they do not have a treatment for it in Canada. For a few days, we, we were just kind of lost and said, okay, well, I guess there's nothing we can do. And then when we heard from about Jack and, and, and Kevin, we were pretty excited and said, okay, well, now we have something. And, and, you know, right from day one, as soon as we heard about it, 
we were coming to Thailand. <laughs> you know, they're, 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 we were going to find a way to get here, and we did. We jumped on Kevin's coattail and followed him down here, basically. And, uh, and, and I'm glad we did that. I'm glad, I'm glad we're here with them, and it's really comforting to have somebody else here with us. It just happened to work out that we were able to both come at the exact same time and I'm really grateful for that because no one really knows what you're going through unless someone is going through at the same time. So it's been really amazing to have her here and to, grateful to have someone you can talk to on that level. Okay. One morning Janice woke up and uh, she covered her right eye, which is her good eye. And I'm watching CNN as, as, as we do every morning. and. Uh, and on the bottom of the TV, there's the writing, and uh, she's reading it with her left eye, and I and I was shocked. And then she took her eyes off and covered her bad eye, and she couldn't read it as good with her good eye as she was with her bad eye. And that was after her first two treatments, I, I guess. And uh, you know, so we were just in awe and and happy and, and shocked, and actually a whole bunch of mixed feelings went through her mind. We didn't want to jump up and down and scream and yell yet that it was, you know, but it was something and it was already happening and, uh, and even now in doing her OT, she can tell how much better her bad eye is. And now she's had her three treatments, uh, one in each eye. So it, it's, you know, we're really optimistic that things are changing. <laughs> I know the next three to six months are really the important part of allowing the stem cells to grow, so it definitely gained uh, sight back in my peripheral so far. And as long as I keep on doing the work and keep feeding and the stem cells keep growing, I'm, I'm really um, feeling confident that I'm gonna get more clarity coming through on, on the frontal end. I can tell your hair color now. And before I couldn't, and I can tell where your eyes are. Before it was just a silhouette. Leaving here, I feel very confident. I feel very pleased and happy that we came, we were treated well, and uh, the staff have done an outstanding job. Bakey has done an outstanding job for us, and uh, my wife feels the same way, and Kevin feels the same way. I believe you always have to have some hope, and, and uh, once there's no more hope, you know, it, it's pretty depressing, so we, were, we knew that there was some chance of, of a success and we're really grateful and thankful that we came. My experience here has been absolutely amazing. I didn't know too much, if anything, about stem cells before this was brought to my attention uh, as a possibility uh, to regain my eyesight. And uh, I, I have nothing but amazing things to say about my entire experience here, from the, from the hospital staff to the, the care to the doctors to um, the professionalism of the entire procedure has just been really amazing and for those that are uh, seeking alternative methods and, and uh, for, for illnesses, um, being eyesight issues or being other issues that are come up and, and can't find any conclusions in your home country and are coming on to my story and are, are, and are intrigued and want to find out for more, more information, I really suggest to just do your homework. And, and don't believe everything you know people are telling you people it's often people put a lot of fear in when it's unknown and and they'll you know I had a lot of people trying to put fear into me because it was unknown even though they don't know anything about it so do your own research and make your own conclusions and just trust because at the end of the day an option is an option it's better than not having an option mm -hmm.